Hey guys, Prince Laharokun here, and welcome back to Mother 3. In the last episode, we took a hallucinogenic drug mushroom trip through a ta Tani Tani island and made our way to this uh, Majipsi hut, and then we're on our way to get to the, um, needle. But, it, <laughs> it looks like the, um, really scary and oddly sexually thinking disembodied voice is still with us. Uh, yes! I am totally... <laughs> The sample man, and this is still totally drug land in my opinion. <laughs> so totally. That pretty much sums up the whole island. <laughs> oh, yes, beautiful. You're buying things. You're buying feather charms. Yeah. This to, is the uh, this is the next your... place you can get an upgrade for your equipment. Nice. So the feather charm, can you put it on your head and make it like a pimp hat? It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I wish, but you actually, I think you equip it on your body. Oh, <laughs> nice. Don't, I, I wouldn't think about that one too much. Yeah, don't, don't, don't think about that one too much there, little children. Okay. Oh, my. Leo bracelet. Uh, where's oh, where's yeah. the Aquarius? It's gotta be Aquarius earrings. I think we, I think we already passed by the Aquarius equipment earlier. Damn. Why is, why is my equipment always so early in the game? <laughs> Damn well. it. Oh my. So, you can actually get the spiky weapon here for Duster, but since we have his mystical shoes, I wouldn't recommend it because the mystical shoes are a ton better here. Oh, they are? Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Equipping feather charms. Hell yeah. yeah. Like that. Yep, Boney's already got everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some, a couple of healing items here, just to be safe. Although all I can really get is Sincerity Dumplings. Sincerity Dumplings. Which, <laughs> oh well no, Double Jerky, never mind. Double Jerky's <laughs> better. Ah, Double Jerky's, 160 HP, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah. That is pretty dang nice, I like, I... But... Sincerity dumplings are the sort of stuff you give to your girlfriend <laughs> if you might, you know, say that you might go study or something. Here, have a sincerity dumpling! <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. I guess. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> that happens, happens sometimes. So now we're gonna go ahead and store this money. We're coming up to a boss fight. We're gonna be doing a boss fight in this episode that really, utterly sucks. And it's so, you're gonna want to stock up on healing items for this upcoming boss fight because it sucks. Yes. It does. It <laughs> just, it just really sucks. Sucks like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> and hey, look, shrooms. Hey. Oh, woo! It's a drug. <laughs> <laughs> Duster attacks, but he doesn't want to get high! <laughs> and the thing is, is they can inflict you with a status ailment that essentially it reverses your controls. Oh my god, I was gonna say, better not, better not make you get hit in the head with a stick again. <laughs> Here. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Here, get hit in the head with the stick of justice! Yeah. Justice. Or the What's stick wrong of with truth. That? Yeah, the stick of truth from South Park. I was about to say, game. isn't that a South Park game? Yeah, it's it's coming out next year actually, uh, 2013. But if you watch this in the future, it may already be out. <laughs> Message to the future. <laughs> future self, look at your past self and just laugh at you. <laughs> Good lord, you won. You so, won. I do want to mention before we go on, that off screen I did do a little bit of grinding and I got Lucas to level 43, and I strongly recommend you do the same because you get Life Up Gamma, which fully heals one ally's HP. Yeah, that, believe me, he was he was really, uh, you know, <laughs> trying for that there. Oh yeah, you oh. want every single bit of help you can get on this boss fight. Yeah. It, yeah, just hey, it's a tornado and it's welcoming me. It's, like, it's a very unwelcoming tornado. That's what <laughs> yeah. it's called, the unwelcome gust. The unwelcome gust. Ah, nice. He's, he's like, it's 
crazy fun in here! <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, he's doing like some sort of hip hop thing. He's like moving his arm back and forth. It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Mambo, Mambo rhythm. rhythm. Mm. You, you can't hear it right now, but you will. Ah, nice. I can't wait. This game's, this game's sense of humor, you know? Oh, yeah. I like it. I like this game's sense of humor. It's got a really good sense of humor. Oh yeah, and I mean that's what the whole series is known for. Exactly. It really does. It really is. Duster attacks. This is really the only game in the series that takes itself seriously. Uh, yeah. And it's it's kind of a nice change of pace, I think. Yeah, it, it is a nice little change of pace. It's. You know, because it it shows that the game developers were very diverse. I yeah, think. Yeah, and they really had a lot of good ideas in this game, you know. I mean, just you know. Ah. Yeah. My my brain's not working. It's kind of late for me, and you know what? I I don't have my caffeine in me. It's only eight twenty-five. Eight twenty-five. Oh. Your time. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, time zones. Also, uh, I just comboed it to death, wow. You won! Nice. Everyone's leveling up like mad. You're leveling up like crazy, you could've probably maybe... Who knows, maybe you could've, uh, upgraded in here. Never know. But, oh, you know, why right, not Why not chance it? Oh, why chance it? I forgot I wasn't supposed to buy that spiky item for Lucas. If you come over here, there's actually a treasure chest with a bigger stick. Uh-oh. It's a lot better than the spiky item, and it's a Lucas-only equipment. Oh, man. So, you just wasted a little bit of money? Yeah. Eh. Oh, well. Oh, well. Money for charity, as they say. Yeah. He's... Nine hits. Nice. <laughs> you know, that shop owner is helping support the economy. Yeah. He's, he needs just a mole cricket. What he really needs is a tax break. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Exactly. I mean, the economy is pretty bad. It is. That little, sh that little shop owner. Dude, ten hits. What's with me and comboing? Dang. C -c 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 I never get this good. Combo breaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must be a good, uh, a good luck charm here. Dang. I'm, I'm good build. luck. That's a, that's a new one for me. Well, I mean, I've been getting consecutive 9-10 hit combos. Damn. And it's clearly not my own skill or anything. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sitting here commentating. Hey, I'm trying to make you feel better. Ah, oh, great. Well, Take thank you. Bit. Thank you for that there, Zach. <laughs> you make me feel like a... You make me feel so good about myself now. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so glad. That's what I'm here for. Ah, good, good, good. Nice. The Swallow Bandana. Yep, it is a duster-only piece of equipment. And here we are. We're at the boss fight. We are at the boss fight. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. And dun-dun-dun. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and give the healing items that I bought. Sorry, thinking now. I gotta plan this. <laughs> yep. This is Land. a really tough boss fight. Land it ahead. Nice. So, uh, you still got all those uh, notes you took down for me? Uh, yes I do. Cause Mr. Bill here is gonna help me with this boss fight. Cause this boss fight sucks. This boss fight is horrendous. From what all I've right. heard. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do it. Let's go. Whoa. Are no, the, be looking, guys. Are these the Barrier Trio? Each one of their names is carved here. Barrier Man, Barrier Gal, Barrier Dude. Are they really that strong? Well, I we're about to not. find out. I hope not. Whoa, okay. Don't try <laughs> to suckle on their ni nipples, please. Oh my god, you had to say that. <laughs> you had to say that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> well... Don't okay. get, don't get too, don't 
don't get too distracted, there's <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna be super distracted now, because I can't unsee that. <laughs> it can't be unsee! <laughs> Anyways, this is without any doubt one of the hardest boss fights in the game, in my opinion. And, uh, you're gonna want to start off by casting PSI counter on everyone, because PSI counter reflects PSI damage to an enemy. Um, with Kumatora, and you're gonna want to do this in a specific order, because it will help you. You're gonna want to have her reduce their defense, because the barrier trio has a really high defense. And there's a neat little strategy you can do with these guys. And for Boney, for the love of all things that are holy, use a shield snatcher on him. It'll help you tremendously. It's just like a stick. You throw it at their shield, and he goes and plays fetch. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it's their shield that gets All right. taken away. Do right. you see this? Ooh, which one it's did it say? Barrier Dude. Okay, Barrier Dude is Thunder. Thunder? Correct. Okay. Okay. The thing is, whenever they do this thing where they call out and oppose, um, that determines what their weakness is. And so what you want to do is you want to pay attention to who calls out the pose, because whoever calls out the pose is the one that determines the uh, weakness. And do you want to tell them what each of the persons and their uh, weaknesses are? Barrier Man is Fire, Barrier Gal is Freeze, and Barrier Dude is Thunder. And that pretty much sums up this boss fight. Yes. Now, there's no point in casting shields, because these guys will never once hit you with the physical attack. And so you want to cast PSI Counter, because PSI Counter will, uh, if, they, if someone, um, if they hit someone with the counter on, no. PSI Counter will essentially do damage to the character that, got, that, it w that uh, took the damage, but then it will do that same amount of damage that that character took and reflect it back at the, uh, person that was hit. So, basically, you know, just So if you take 100 that. damage... Yeah, if you take 100 damage, they take 100 damage. Exactly. Which is a pretty nice strategy. I think they used sort of that sort of strategy in the Final Fantasy X boss. I don't Did remember they? one. I don't remember which one, though. That's what's bad. I haven't played that game in a while. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. See, and when you hit them enough times with a spell, you'll crush their pose. Nice. And essentially what that does... Alright. So it's Barrier Dude again, so they're weak to Thunder. It's random every time. You want to hope that it'll be... Was it... Was Gal the one that was weak to Freeze? Gal is Freeze. You want to hope that it's, um, Freeze at this point, unless you've been leveling up to ridiculous amounts, because if it's Gal, on my practice file, I was doing 400 damage a pop when it was Gal. Woo! Nice. Obviously, they won't do that during the actual, uh, the actual LP... Oh, yeah, because, you know, no peekers! Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know how much I believe in the LP curse, but man, does it hit. It's LP karma. Yeah. Oh, Lord. All right, so now they're going to hit us with PK Fire Gamma. Now, for the watch, 79. See, all this damage is getting countered back to them. Nice. So, essentially, if you count up all the damage I just took, they just took it, too. Exactly. So essentially, I just hit them four times with a spell. And Beautiful. Now you're gonna, but you're gonna want to watch your health because your health will go down very quickly. Yeah. And the reason you want to get healing items for this fight is because, um, you want Duster and Boney to be on healing duty, especially because they will use attacks that'll be hit alls, and it really sucks. I like to keep Lucas as, again, the healer of the group, while Kumatora dishes out damage. Yeah. Uh, you can... As you'll be... showing it. It's looking pretty All deep. Right. Awesome. Okay. So now Barrier Gal took a pose, which is good, and that's what we want. Because, obviously, that is freebies! Yeah. And the, um... The, uh, strongest spell that we have in our repertoire at this point is PK Freeze Gamma. So, nice. see, I want to wait for everyone's HP to recover a bit. Alright. Let's heal Kumatora. Yep. Uh, and the PK Freeze Gamma. They haven't been doing what I want them to do, though, and that's the part that sucks. 
when does everything go according to plan? There's Laharl. I don't know. There we go. There you are. Okay. Ooh. The thing you want them to do is you want them to cast defense up Omega because that means they've wasted a turn recovering their physical defense. But since most of your damage is coming from you doing PK moves, they're wasting a turn because it doesn't matter. <laughs> and see, if nice. you increase their defense, the AI in this game is more likely to uh, try to recover from that lower defense that you uh, took away from them. And if you can waste a turn, you have an entire turn in which you can do damage and have a better chance to heal yourself. Exactly. It's a really, really evil uh, strategy, and it's beautiful. Oh, Lucas just got burned. Uh oh. Lucas's body was engulfed in flames. They're trying to cremate him. Yeah, or something. Good lord. But he just healed himself, so we're okay. At least his clothes aren't made out of polyester and he won't <laughs> be on well, fire for a little while. About that. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Oh, my body! Let's see, do I have any. No. Not with him. I'm gonna have him guard. Just for now, because I don't want him to... Well, no, I can have him attack, that's... Yeah. These... Yeah. These little, uh... These guys are... Pretty... They seem to be decently easy to beat if you follow the correct strategy. Yeah, but even this strategy isn't a guaranteed thing. It's not guaranteed, but it makes you... If you if you set up correctly, you should be able to defeat them this way. Right. Yeah. Oh. And um, <laughs> that's really all there is to this fight yeah. until we get to a certain point when we do a certain amount of damage. Oh man. By the way, this that's... boss does have uh. Okay, it's barrier dude again. This Damn. boss does have 4,000 HP. 4,000 HP? That's not that bad. Especially yeah. when it keeps getting reflected back at him. Mm -hmm. And considering yep. PK Freeze does 400 damage per hit when they're in yep. barrier gal mode. Yep. It's it's just the other... Uh, it's the other forms that he takes. Barrier Man and Barrier Dude. They're not uh, one of your stronger... Okay. Uh -oh. Um, now here comes the fun part. The barrier trio is almost dead. However, what they're going to do now is they're going to concentrate. And what that means is they're about to unleash PK Starstorm. PK Starstorm is the strongest PK spell in the game, and they can only use it once, and it's going to do about 200 damage to all of your party members. So you want to take this opportunity to heal everyone. Damn. Ugh. PK Star Storm, it sounds a little... Sounds like a Paper Mario Star Storm 2. Uh, haven't you played... Haven't you played uh, Smash Bros? Oh, yeah, yeah. That too. PK Star Storm. Oh, yeah. I, that I move. recall it now. That's kind of where this... That's where that... This is where that move came from. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, I thought man. everyone knew, uh, knew about that. See? Here it is, PK Starstorm. Oh god. I'm gonna wait for everyone's HP to recover. Come on, they're Quick. bony. There you go. Alright, here we bony. go. See? It just reflected 126 damage, 118, 123, and then 136. <laughs> I should mention that PSI counter also reduces magic damage you take. Which is so it acts as both thing. it acts as both a shield and it reflects. But you can only get hit with PSI spell three times before it negates itself, so... Which is a good thing, I guess, and when, I mean. When they're at this point in the fight, you really just gotta unleash on them. Now, I'm probably gonna get hit by something by saying this, but... When they're in this form, I think they can only hit you with PK Starstorm once. I've never been hit by it more than once in this fight. Okay. So I'm gonna try to end this as quickly as I can. And as quickly and as violently as possible. Yeah. Nice. That's By weird. hitting them with the power of love. <laughs> hitting them with the power of love. <laughs> you know, next thing you know, you'll be sing don't be singing uh, Selena Gomez at all. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> See.
See, they tried PK Starstorm, but didn't have enough strength left for it. Nice. So Perfect. we're completely out of PSI points at this point. Uh, you guys are... You're all out of PSI, uh, PP. Oh, here we go. The exhausted barrier trio stuck, struck one final barrier pose. Oh, man. It was spectacular. And then they die. Aww. And that's all there is to that boss fight. And you get one, two, three, four, six experience. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong game there, Bill. I'm sorry. It's, it just flashed into my mind. <laughs> totally understandable. Oh, yeah. And they start blinking! Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. We got giant flying pig noses. Oh, Lord! More oh, than it looks like the mothership's you. here. Hmm. What is going on? Uh oh. This, this doesn't look good. Oh, Jesus. Because it looks like the pig army, the pig mask army, is coming to uh, try to pull the needle. Oh jeez! We just got rid of the one barrier that was protecting it, so... We're also really weak, so this can't be good. Oh god! What? Red carpet? Die! <laughs> oh, it's... Hey, it's that masked guy that we saw. Oh lord. Now they're... Him and Lucas are having a stare down. Oh jeez! Yeah. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Oh, he's got a sword, too. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh. That's not good. My God. Clap for him. Poor little doggy's towel. His tongue is still sticking out, too. Oh, that's not good. Uh. The masked man just pulled that needle that we worked so hard to pull for ourselves. Aw, oh, jeez. And that means an another dark wish has been, uh, another person with a dark heart has, um, brought his wish to the dark dragon. Oh, so Things aren't looking good for us. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's starting to look bleak! Yeah, and he can just kind of hit it, kill us in one hit, too. Yeah. It's getting, it's getting intense. Oh yeah, this is definitely where the game starts picking up. Nice. No, but it also means it's, you know, picking up to come to its inevitable conclusion, which is sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Mixo Lydia. Oh Guess no! What? Hey, you guys. Oh no. <laughs> Just how long are you going to sleep there? Why don't you come to my heart? Well, unfortunately, she's kind of passing away, but... <laughs> oh, no! No! My character! That was surprisingly <laughs> disappointing. Oh! I have to be dying! What's your heart wasn't the one passed on to the dark dragon. That masked man's was. Oh. Don't die on me there. But there's <laughs> nothing that we can do about that. Fate is fate. Uh, heart. Okay. No. But it's odd. What's odd? <laughs> I should be sensing that mass man's heart coming from the earth. I'm gonna put my ear down to the earth and listen. <laughs> but I'm not feeling anything at all. Oh, that's not good. I'm about to disappear now, so Ocho will take care of the rest. Ah, uh, Ocho! <laughs> he instructed him to wait for you at the beach. Uh... You can ride on his back! 
all the way back to Tasmali. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll give you my razor and lipstick. The one that I used to, you know, shave my beard. <laughs> because I'm a bearded woman. Yep. <laughs> Good care of them. Almost as if they were me. Oh God. And so we receive Missy's Memento. Missy's Memento? A which does the exact same thing as the other mementos. Ah. Uh, damn. Oh wait, I almost forgot something very important. Oh God. Could you give this to Ionia for me? Uh, oh no. We got a jar of yummy pickles. <laughs> In Tasmania, I believe there is a map loving and map owning fellow, yes? Oh god. I think he'll know where Ionia's house is. Bribe him with pickles. <laughs> <laughs> so hurry there. Take this to Ionia. But not just ordinary pickles, yummy pickles. Uh <laughs> I wouldn't... Uh, oh, I'm disappearing! My collection of pickles! Farewell! Wow, that was tied in really well. <laughs> oh, God. She All left right. me a jar of pickles. So at the end of the day, Kumatora gets a fever. <laughs> Eat one too many of the pickles. Alright, so... It looks like, uh, the masked man has pulled yet another, um, needle there, and so we're pretty much even in terms of needles, but if he pulls one more needle, then he'll have the majority of the needles, and the Dark Dragon's Awakening won't be a good one. Mm. So... So, I'm gonna cut real quick to, um, a certain point, because I wanted to show you guys something, but I completely forgot, and, uh, we'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. So, do you guys remember, and Mr. Bill, do you remember when we went to that, uh, that hot spring? Yes. Do you remember how Boney acted kind of weird and didn't join us? Correct. Well, there's a reason for that. Ah. Uh. Look at what we, uh, recovered in. Ew! Yeah. That's uh. what gave us our full Typical Michigan Great Lakes Sludge! Nice! <laughs> and, uh, you can... You can still get inside of it. If you want. <laughs> Be careful, you're not gonna grow a third arm! <laughs> you might. But yeah. the real, uh, the real, uh, spas back here. <laughs> nice! So, the anyway. real spa is in the background, eh? Yeah, with that mirror that told us we were looking good. <laughs> <laughs> that's evil. Oh, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's gonna about do it for this episode of Mother 3. I think we got quite a bit of progress done. Um, we've actually only got one more needle, and this chapter's complete, and then we're gonna be on the final chapter of the game. Sadness. It's getting pretty, uh, pretty exciting up in here. Heck yeah. Well, uh, thank you, Mr. Sample Man, for, uh, joining me in these, uh, these Mother 3 parts. You definitely made it a very different experience than what I would have if I was on my own. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I will uh, see you guys in the next episode where we go back to Tasmili and uh, go see if we can find the whereabouts of the next uh, needle. Later, guys.